Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 7th. And you know what today is. Today is beta day. Beta day, beta day. So it is 7.33. I am headed to my local lab core to get my betas, my first set of betas. Um, I opted not to drive to my clinic to do the blood test because that's just a long drive. Um, so yeah, I am super excited and I am super nervous. I did break down again last night and I tested with a first response, early response test only because I had not taken a first response and first response are the best ones on the market. And I felt that if I got a positive with one of those, then I would be good. And I got the package that is the test and confirm. So you get a regular first response where you have to look at the lines and then they give you a digital one where it's either gonna say yes or it's gonna say no. And they both came up positive. So my mind is at ease. I did have a mini scare about um, five-ish yesterday evening. I went to use the bathroom and I noticed some pink tinge uh, discharge. So I immediately just assumed that it was a bad thing and I was getting ready um, to, to miscarry, that this was gonna be a chemical pregnancy again, because I have gotten naturally pregnant um, five, six years ago and it ended up as a chemical pregnancy. I literally found I was pregnant on like a Tuesday and by that Sunday I was losing the baby. So uh, yeah, I am a tad bit nervous about my betas, but I'm just leaving it in God's hands. I just, I'm believing that, you know, everything's fine and it's just a matter of how many are in here. I do know that anything above 50 um, is what sh that my clinic is looking for. So I am eight days post a five day transfer today. So anything above 50 would be optim optimal for them and they would be they would be happy with that. So that's what I'm looking for. Anything above 50, but you know me, I wanna shoot for 100. I hope I just have some good numbers. And from what, <clears throat> I've researched and been told it doesn't necessarily matter how high your number is in the beginning. It just matters if your numbers double. So even if I start out with anything above 50, even though I personally wish, hope, I'm hoping for a hundred range, if, um, if I, start above the 50 I'm still gonna be okay as long as when I go get this next beta on Friday that there is an, an increase in numbers and it doubles I also have a doctor's appointment with my PCM on base which is going to be my prenatal care doctor as well so I will be informing him today that I tested positive at home and go ahead and get him to order my betas um, for there for them or at least order the pregnancy test for them I don't know um, if they're gonna require me just to do a urine test or a blood test I would prefer to do the blood test at this point because I've done enough urine tests. I don't need them to tell me on a urine test that I'm pregnant. I have taken enough um, urine tests to know I'm pregnant on my own. So yeah, I'm driving over to their office now. The website said that it was um, opening at 7.30 and I was told I didn't need an appointment. I just needed my requisition number, which I do have that in my email. They should be able to pull me up in the system, but if not, I do have my requisition number in my ID. I'm happy to say that this morning, I did not wake up with a headache. I did not wake up feeling sick. 
but that doesn't mean that that's not going to happen throughout the day. I've gotten to where I do wear my nausea bands all day long and night and I just switch them out to coincide with the clothes that I'm wearing at the moment. So I got some neutral colors and if you guys want to link to the the um, Amazon account that I got these from, I would definitely drop the link into the description box and share it with you guys. I am pulling in and this person apparently doesn't know how to drive. I am kind of out of breath. But let's go get this lab course stuff going on and hopefully we get some same day results today. So I'm in here, you guys. I'm in the chair. I'm in the chair. I'm so nervous. So I'm all done. Um it was quick, painless. I am going to call my clinic and uh, see if that order is a stat order. Is it going to be released today or tomorrow? Because the lady at the front desk said my stuff wasn't going to be, my results weren't going to be back until the next day. And I don't think that is what I was told initially. So I am going to double uh, double check. But I go back in on Thursday, I mean Friday. And then I am due to head to a doctor's appointment soon. So that's how that goes. I got to go to a doctor's appointment at 840 on base and let him know that I'm pregnant and go from there. <sighs> Y'all, when I tell you I'm tired, I'm tired. I just had to do my blood pressure appointment to double check and make sure that my meds were working correctly that we changed last week, right? So my doctor knows that I've been doing fertility treatment. And he asked me how did everything go? And I let him know that I tested positive on a pregnancy test at home, several pregnancy tests at home, and he felt the need for me to go ahead and talk to an OB coordinator. This is reason being, I am being seen by a military facility. My husband is a Marine Corps veteran. As a result, I have to um, do everything over, a whole set of everything over at the military hospitals. They will not receive and accept any of the medical records that I get from my clinic. So, with that being said, I did the beta this morning for the clinic, for the fertility clinic, and I just had to turn around and pee in a cup and get another beta. Well, not beta. I guess it's a beta. The particular blood test that he drew he requested to um, be done is going to tell him how far along I am as well as confirming as well as confirming pregnancy so that's going to be neat to find out what my info is I'm tired because I've been up since 6 like I normally am I've been out the house for a while my appointment was eight, at 8.40 and it is now 10.35 and I'm just now leaving the base. I did have some, he did um, change my medicine again. Well, he just changed the dosage of my blood pressure medication because the medicine is working. However, it's not working to the level that he's comfortable with. 
so he did increase me up to the maximum dose that I can take for the medicine that I'm on and we are going to um, try that out he's also wanting me to go see a cardiologist he does because my mother passed away from idiopathic cardiomyopathy which stand basically in layman's terms idiopathic cardiomyopathy just means that she had an un, un identifiable reasoning for her to have an enlarged heart and that was the cause of her death so because my mother had that and I suffered from hypertension and my mother suffered from hypertension and the hypertension is what led to the strokes and her heart being stressed he wants to make sure that I'm not having those issues he did listen to my heart like he listened to last week and he did say that it, they sound my heart sounds normal and he doesn't feel that there's anything wrong but he still does want me to have a cardiology consult so we did that we did the consult and then he said well let's just uh, um, have you pop over to the OB coordinator and get everything set up for that because you're gonna have to establish care with us which mean which just simply means I have to get a pregnancy test through them I don't have to do a repeat um, blood draw with them like I do with the fertility clinic but I do have to do the initial pregnancy confirmation blood draw which that's what I did so I had them draw out of the right arm because they did my left arm already this morning and I will be finding out from both facilities today what the results are so they do process my betas in ba on the base in house so they will be um, getting those results out to me today and I did not go to my clinic to get my blood draws done I went to the local lab court in my town and when I called her back, when I called the office this morning just to confirm when I would find out the results would it be today or tomorrow, the office did confirm that I would find out them today because they were stat results. Uh, she couldn't tell me particularly what time I would get a phone call. She just let me know it would be today. So generally, whenever I have done my appointments in the mornings with them and I've gotten blood work done when I, when I was stimming and I had blood work done, and it was processed with um, LabCorp. Um, I generally got my, res I got a phone call three-ish. No, the office closes at five, so I know I'm gonna get a phone call no later than five o'clock, but I'm anticipating a phone call between one and three. Usually what happens is when I get the phone calls, they're coming. I always get them within the four hour drive that it takes to go back to the to the doc to, to home. So that's how it always works. Cause she'll call she always calls to reschedule my appointments while I'm still on the road to go back home. So I have to make sure that my phone is on me. I make sure I wore my watch today so that I can get phone calls via my watch. And we're gonna find out information today. Um, and kind of, what's kind of frustrating, but it's a good thing that I, you know, I sat down and I thought about it. I was frustrated at first. Having to do two sets of everything is frustrating. However, it is good to have it in a second outside clinic, just looking at what's going on. So, where I will be doing a, a dating ultrasound with my fertility clinic at six weeks, I will still have to do another dating ultrasound with the Naval Hospital. And the great news that I got from him today was 
I don't have to um, necessarily have a repeat C-section. He asked me, did my doctor indicate that I would always have to have a C-section from that point on? And I told him no, I was not indicated that I would have to do a repeat C-section. So I am going to pursue doing a vaginal birth after cesarean, which is a VBAC which is something that I wanted to do in the first place and I kind of didn't want to deliver on on base because I was assuming and, and thinking that I was not going to be able to do so. And I do know that even with twins, I still have the option of delivering vaginally. Twins does not guarantee that you have to deliver C-section. It just means that you would have to deliver in an operating room, in an OR, and I'm okay with that. I just hope that these babies cooperate, or if there is two babies, that, you know, if there's twins, they cooperate and they're head down. But whatever is needed to be done to have a, a healthy, successful delivery is fine. And I know I'm jumping the gun and thinking way ahead, but the, guy, the OB coordinator named Bo brought that up to my attention. So that was that. I am about to head over to my dad's mechanic shop. I need to get some headlights replaced and that would be a good thing to kind of distract me from the fact that I'm waiting on the phone call and I, um, I probably will end up migrating over to my neighbors just to keep my mind off of the fact that I'm waiting on my beta call. I really am hoping and praying that it's going to be in a good range of numbers. I really am. So, I honestly feel like on base, they're not going to give me my exact beta numbers. They're, I'm pretty sure when he calls, he's just going to tell me that, yes, I'm. I can, they confirmed I'm pregnant. And when I'm going, who, who's going to be my OB? And um, when my next, when my first... OB appointment will be because the, he did indicate that because I'm did I did fertility treatment because I am over 35 and because I have high blood pressure they don't want to hesitate with getting me worked in they do want to go ahead and get me worked in so that I'm getting a little more scrutiny as far as care is concerned So yeah, um, I just got distracted because the sheriff pulled up behind me. But I'm almost to my dad's shop and he just merged over. So I don't like cops and cops immediately give me anxiety. But yeah, so I'm gonna pull up to my dad's real quick. Hopefully he's not fussing at me because I did tell him I would come after doctor's appointments. I just didn't think that my doctor's appointments were going to take all freaking day. I did text him and tell him I was a little behind. But yep, that's how that works out. I'm about to pull up to his shop now. I will check back with you guys once I get my nut my numbers. It is April 8th and I still have not gotten a phone call from my PCM or my fertility clinic with my numbers. I'm freaking out mainly not because they call, didn't call, but because I saw some pink um, tinge discharge when I went to the bathroom this morning. It happened on Tuesday and Tuesday evening and then it was gone within an hour and this morning when I got up to go to the bathroom first morning urine I had a very 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 pin drop of a dark 
burgundy-ish red dark red um pin drop on there and then i had bright pink well not bright pink but like a light pink um whitish discharge as well so i'm a little paranoid i'm trying not to call the clinic and uh freak out because i did email my nurse tuesday when this happened and she did assure me that it probably was implantation bleeding um in my mind i'm sitting here trying to convince myself that it is implantation bleeding and that both embryos implanted but they implanted at different stages so i'm experiencing implantation bleeding because of that i've been pregnant before and i've given birth three times and in those three times i've never experienced implantation bleeding the only time i've ever experienced an onset of bleeding was when i um had my fourth pregnancy and it was a chemical pregnancy and i immediately miscarried within the same week of finding out that i was pregnant um was reassuring to me about that it's not a miscarriage is only because it's not flowing the bleeding is not flowing it's only evident when i go wipe i'm not having extreme um cramping and pain like i did before with my previous miscarriage um i'm not in severe pain and i was in severe pain with the previous one like i was in pain that entire week and that's what made me kind of think i was pregnant and test I don't know why my head has been itching horribly. I think I'm going to wash it today. Um, anyway, so I'm still waiting on this phone call. I thought my blood test at the PCM was going to be calling me same day as well, but I, he didn't. And I may call them and ask them were my, um, were my results available. Because I do have a contact number for my... So you guys, I'm sorry about that, but that was the actual clinic calling. My betas came back and they came back positive. My betas are 34. So she um, was very excited and happy about that. So I have to go back tomorrow and they want it to double increase. So hopefully they double. Um, I'm at a 34. So hopefully they double up to... Oh, I feel so sick right now. I'm sorry. I got, I feel like I have gas. Um, I would need to be a 68 or a 70 for them to consider that it doubled. So I'm super happy and uh, excited. I honestly was going to rush out and get a freaking pregnancy test again just to confirm what my stuff was that I was still pregnant with the spotting when I wiped but I I mean I feel a little reassured I am a little paranoid um about the spotting uh I did ask her do they check for progesterone and they don't because she said they don't check for progesterone because we um we're adding the supplement so they don't check for the progesterone they just ran for hcg and i really wish i knew what my progesterone levels were but that is a relief i am actually pregnant so let's hope that this baby or babies continue to grow in here and my numbers double tomorrow the clinic that i went to they don't run their lab stat so she did indicate that if I went back to this clinic tomorrow, I would not know my results until Monday morning. And I don't think I'm going to be able to wait until Monday morning. So I probably am going to get up. If, and she said if I come in the office before noon, then I can get my results same day. So I'm going to drive to Greensboro tomorrow and I'm going to get my results same day. I will not be able to, I know me, I am not going to be able to wait. So stay tuned for tomorrow for beta number two. It is Friday, April 9th. 
This is day two of betas. This is the, my second beta, um, which will put me at uh, 10 days post transfer. I did my first beta at eight days post transfer. I did it locally and I didn't get my results until Thursday, which was yesterday. That didn't sit well with me, nor did it sit well with my um, fertility doctor. So they prefer me to come to their office and do the next beta draw, which is why I'm up at four in the morning so I can get on the road and go. I got to leave within the next 45 minutes. So in my closet, getting myself together. Um, so my clinic said that they're looking for my betas to increase at least 30%. So the lowest that my number should be at is 44.2 and the highest would be 68. So that's the range we're looking at 44.2 to 68. Um, 68 being that my betas, my, my betas, that my beta is doubled in two in 48 hours, but anywhere in between a 30% increase and a double, which is a 100% increase, then we will be still considered good. Um, I got my betas from on base. Theirs were saying that I was at a 31 and my fertility clinic said I was at a 34. So I'm going to take what the fertility clinic says. Um, I did do some research to find, find out if it's possible for two different labs to get two different SCG num HCG numbers. And it is possible different labs produce their stuff differently. And like I said before, um, my labs for my fertility clinic were done by LabCorp and my labs done on base were done on base at their lab on base. So they may not use the same um, equipment, specimen tubes, whatever that the other doc, the other clinic does. I can say that there was a difference. At LabCorp, I had two blood, um, two different blood drawings two vials of blood taken from me versus on base, I only had one. I'm not really stressed out about the difference anymore because it's only a three difference. And they did, the research that I did does say that it could fluctuate. So that's where we stand. I did take another test last night just to see if my lines darkened and they did. Um, So maybe yesterday my ACG kind of got a boost. I hope so. So I'm hoping between Wednesday and um, yesterday, because when I did it, I I compared my seven days past to my nine days past, because that'd be 48 hours. So I did seven days past. And I compared the seven days past to the nine days past and my lines were considerably darker. But then I took a test yesterday around one o'clock and I took a test yesterday um, around 8.30ish, nine o'clock. And the lines were very obvious that they were different. So, and I didn't change the amount of water that I drank. I have been super hydrated. I try to stay hydrated because I got to give so much blood. You have to give so much blood during this process that it can be difficult to get blood if you're not hydrated. So I'm super hydrated. I am going, I was at a point where that's all I drank was water. Um, I am going to start trying to drink up some juice. So yeah, I'm just babbling on at this point. I'm going to get my shoes on and I'm going to get myself together to head out all right it's beta day number two i am at the doctor's office took three hours but we here 
I got this new captain, captain my captain. She got me here on time and we gonna get back home at a decent time. So I'm going here, let them prick my arm and I'm hoping that my range is where it's supposed to be. So it's supposed to be anywhere from 44 to 68. So I'm hoping I'm somewhere in the middle, but 44 is the minimum, 68 is what they maximum want me to go. So let's go inside and get this blood drawn so I can go home. So, betas are done with the second betas. Mm -hmm. And my results are 110. So if you guys remember, I said that I had to be in a range from 44 to 68. And we tripled. I did transfer two, so my bestie over here thinks that both of them stuck. I think we have a twin. It tripled. So we're from 34 to 110 is 324% increase. So I think it's twins. Ultrasound is April 23rd. So stay tuned. Um over the moon cop and paranoid i don't y'all don't want to know how many tests i actually took <laughs> one every day <laughs> i did not take a test on the eight days past transfer that's the only day i didn't take a test so i took a test on day three i took a test on day four last night i took a test over here on on day four and i threw it away because i had to come get the test from you no, yeah. I brought them to you. No, I rode in the truck with you that Saturday. Remember we dropped the boys off and I rode with you? And I came upstairs with you and I took a test then. No. Yes. Didn't I bring them to you? Yes, and then we rode. I got in your truck to take oh, the boys to the skate ring. You so didn't I never tell me got you took a out. test then. I went in there. and Well, you were in your phone. I took a test in her bathroom while she was right here at this spot in this bed. I did that on Saturday. That was the Saturday before Easter. So that was day four. All those four were negative. I took a test on day five that morning and it was negative. I got home and I took another test that Sunday on Easter and it was positive. Then I took another test. So that was that's six tests. Then I took another one on. I took at least 10 or 12 tests. I got, I still got them all. But I took a lot of tests. A lot of tests. But we's pregnant. This my baby mama. She say my husband's just a sperm donor. This is our baby. Our babies. Yes. So, yeah. I'm pregnant, y'all. On the first try, too. Oh, Ooh, God. Psh. If I could shout, I would shout right now, but I can't do no strenuous activity. And she ain't got no shout rhythm, so she can't even shout in my place. She looking all cute today, y'all. She got her sister lock started last week. She ain't got no hang time like me though. Hers ain't thick like me. But they long now. Yes, her hair actually your hair actually is longer uh, than mine. Because um, uh, I cut all my hair off almost Twice. a year ago. And maybe like about this much the whole way is what I kept. And here it is now. Yeah, your your shrinkage is um bad, but you Yeah, like hair. when I wet it, they are definitely a lot longer. Yeah, then when that shit dry up, it goes. <laughs> what? Yes. Hey, guess what? You want to know what? Like for real? I'm pregnant. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I found out for sure today. We think it's twins. Ooh. See, your reaction is better than my kids. <laughs> Look at little curly, her little curls on the side. You she do little curls. You should get her hair locked. She said she didn't want locks. You don't want to be. You don't want to be great. All right, you guys. So yeah, we pregnant. We pregnant. I already feel bloated, so I will say that the progesterone and oil shots make you gain a lot of weight. Um, I've been very gassy. I've been burping a lot. So I had to break down and drink a Pepsi yesterday just to make myself burp. But I think I'm going to have to go get some Coke. Coke. There's no such good burp like a Coke burp. Like a regular Coke. Like, yeah, I drink seltzer water. 
I don't drink seltzer water. Okay. The only seltzer water I've ever drank is connected with some alcohol. Bitch, I can't drink no more. You better. Maybe I'm about to quit drinking. But I'm gonna see if um I can talk my husband into getting some Ocean Bay crab legs. Did they have crab legs when you went over there today? They said they got crab legs. Ooh, I didn't we... see nobody ordering them, but the wait is long. They was packed. I get my stuff together. Yeah, um, oh, do we wait? But we don't. They said it's gonna be that long, but we didn't wait long to get our food. I'm gonna see if Frank go get me some um crab legs. Cause you know I am carrying his two kids, and they said they want crab legs. <laughs> I pick up my teeth next week too, y'all. So stay tuned. I get my teeth, my lower teeth next week. I go in. I thought I went in Monday to go get my braces, like to see if I could stop wearing my retainer. But they didn't call and confirm my appointment, so I don't think I have an appointment Monday. I want some cake. Let's go get some cake. Let's just go to a grocery store and buy some cake in it and say we celebrate me getting pregnant. And that's the reason why we eat eating cake. I wish they had a cheesecake factory here. They should sell something. I drove right through Raleigh. Or like, um, let's go to Applebee's and get dessert. <laughs> dessert only. <laughs> that wandy be hitting though. It'll be warm and, and, and then the, the, the ice cream be cold. And that should be. Mm. I'm hungry, mm. period. I want some pecan pie with some ice cream. I'm hungry, just period. Like, I ate a sandwich on the way back from Sheets, and it made me get full real quick, so I didn't eat the whole thing. I ate just half of it, gave it to Frank, and now I'm hungry again. Shouldn't have gave it to Frank. She kept Lisa. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I do. I'm greedy. I'm hungry now, and she don't have snacks, though, so I got to get some real food. Ooh, let's go get some of those loaded fries from the, that Mexican joint. I'm a uh, fool. Yeah, because she just went on a date. That I didn't co-sign for. But you guys stay tuned. Um, for if you have a friend. And y'all don't. Y'all relationship don't look like you're gay. Then that ain't your real friend. Because we lay in bed together all day. When I spend a night over here. She is offended if I go downstairs. Or I go sleep in the guest room. Mm -hmm. But she sleeps diagonally. So. So there's no room for me. It's a king size bed. But you be pushing me on the edge. So then you sleep diagonally too. <laughs> it's, it's not complicated. It's not complicated at all. It is complicated. If I'm, if I'm sleeping diagonally, you sleep diagonally too. No, you're supposed to sleep vertically. What difference does it make as long as you sleep? You sleep. You don't know what direction you in when you fucking sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my language. I curse on here too, but I'm just saying. Oh. But you don't know if you whether you sleeping horizontal or vertical. You don't know. Just grab a pillow and go to sleep. There's like 20 pillows on this bed. I know, but you be pushing me off the bed. This I wouldn't push you off the bed if you just if I just conform too. to the if yes. I conform to the I am yes. sleeping vertically. You're sleeping um sideways. No, if I, I you sleep, sleep diagonally. I. Yes, and you can also sleep diagonally. <laughs> but that's not it's, comfortable. I sleep vertical. This bed will fit like 20 people in it, okay? But y'all ain't going to sleep in... 20 people can't sleep in this bed. I have put five, six people in this bed. We can all fit in this bed. If you just got with the program... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that tall. You taller than me, so I can't be taking up too much. I mean, I mean, I'm chunky, but but that's besides the point. I'm not take. I'm not. There's like a whole like my feet don't even go to the end of the bed. You my feet don't go to the end too. of my bed. Yeah, but you can lay that way though. You you can lay like you can lay this way. And and so the last the time I spent way. the night over here, you guys, she <laughs> had me dangling on the edge of the bed. I was like, fuck it, I'm going downstairs to sleep on the couch. I'm asleep and I felt like somebody was standing over me staring at me. <laughs> I jumped like, oh my God, bitch. She was like, oh, I was just seeing if you was good. I was like, yeah, you, you pushed me out the bed. I'm not going to reveal the other thing that she does while she's sleeping. That ain't none of y'all business. What else I do when I sleep? Besides snore. That's it. I wasn't going to tell America you snore, but she snores in her sleep. So and she falls asleep before me, so then I'm sitting I'm here. <laughs> she be motherfucking tired, y'all. She worked like ten jobs, so she be motherfucking tired. We ain't had to sleep over in a minute. All this luxury, <laughs> oh, so come on, thinks I'm rich. All this luxury, we is rich. 
and blessings. We are. <laughs> but y'all stay tuned to the next video. Um, I got ideas of what I'm going to be making videos on. I am going to be segueing, segueing and closing this series of the IVF journey out in a couple of more weeks. Actually, no, in a month. So the next two appointments I have with my fertility doctor will be the last two of the series because we have successfully gotten pregnant on our first trial with the frozen embryo transfer. It was a long time coming, but we are very happy. So stay tuned. Yes. To the next episode. Anything you want to say? Mm -mm. Okay. We'll see you guys on the next episode.